Injective protocol stakers were one of the largest gainers for airdrops in late 2023 and early 2024. But has the time run out for injective stakers? Well, if you ask me, the time is still there. And if you still stake injective or ING tokens, you would be eligible for future airdrops going into 2024. So in this video, we are going to see exactly how you can stake ING or injective protocol and also how much amount you should be staking and also what are some of the airdrops that we can expect. So with that being said, let's jump on straight on to the video. Hello friends, my name is Soham and I welcome you to Crypto Bulls Club. If you're new to this channel, make sure you smash up the subscribe button and hit the like button. Also, do not forget to join us on our Telegram channel. The link is there in the description below. So guys, without further ado, let's jump on straight on to the video. So let's first find out what exactly is injective so injective is a blockchain built for finance it's a layer one blockchain that has been built and the current price of injective protocol is at around 35 dollars and the market cap as you can see is just below three billion dollars to most of the people's surprise injective actually rose from the lows of about two dollars back in late 2022 or early 2023 to the highs of 40 dollars and gave amazing returns in fact it was one of the most prominent coins which gave us huge returns back in 2023 now let us see how and where we can buy injective tokens so injective tokens could be bought on all the leading exchanges including the likes of binance KuCoin, Gate.io. In short, you can buy ING protocol on most of the top exchanges around the world. Now, how you can actually stake injective protocol? Let's take a look at that and what are some of the wallets that are required. Now, speaking of wallets, my personal favorite is the Kepler wallet. You can also look at Leap wallet as well. Now, for Kepler wallet, the link is there on your screen right now. It's Kepler.app. So once you click on install Kepler, you will be taken to this page wherein you will be asked your preference of browser. You can choose Chrome, Firefox, whatever you are using so let's take for example chrome since i'm using chrome in this computer now once i select on chrome i'll be redirected to the chrome store wherein i'll be asked to add kepler to my chrome and just like other wallets do make sure you take the backup of your kepler wallet and save your recovery phrase as well now once you have saved it the next task that you need to do is you need to open your kepler wallet so let's do it right away just let me give the password here now once that we are logged into our wallet we'll need to click on default and then select the coin of our choice so let's say I want to select INJ so I just select on INJ and I can either copy the address by clicking on this icon or I can just display the QR now once this QR code is displayed you can actually scan this directly from your Binance or any other exchange that you are using and you can deposit INJ or injective protocol directly into your Kepler wallet once you have deposited your injective protocols to this Kepler wallet the next task that you need to do is you need to actually stake them now for staking what I'll do is I'll go and click on this manage portfolio in the Kepler dashboard and click on this icon. Once I click on that icon, I'll be taken to wallet.kepler.app. The link is there on your screen right now. So here what we will be doing is clicking on stake and then it will show me the assets that are available. So let's say I have injective, I'll very little injective over here. So I can simply click on injective over here. The next task is an important one wherein I need to select the validator. Here. So make sure you do not select any centralized exchange such as Coinbase or Binance as the validators because most of the airdrops, they do not take them into consideration who have actually staked the injective protocols or any other tokens with the centralized exchanges. So here you can see a lot of validators primarily what i recommend is you can choose either the first few ones or the best way is if you are a supporter of decentralization then you can select outside of the top 10 network so let me select any of the ones that i feel but i need to just keep in mind that the commission rates are not very high so the commission rate are here so i just need to select any one that is giving five percent let's say so let me select partner staking over here and then i just simply click on stake before i click on stake here are the some of the details that we want to see the expected APR or the return is around 16.54%. The voting power is 2% and the unbonding period that is the lock-in period will be approximately 21 days guys right. So if you have any doubts you can actually refer this part of the video as well. Just before we stake guys if you would want us to make a detailed video about the price prediction of injected do let us know by commenting below just comment price predictions and we will make a detailed technical analysis video covering the price predictions for injective protocol and what do we feel where injective could go into 2024 and 2025 with that being said let's now click on to stake it will just ask me for a confirmation and we click on stake it will ask me for a confirmation of the wallet and as soon as i do that i just need to click on approve and guys that's how easily you can actually stake your 
ing tokens on the kepler wallet now the question is how much ing token should we stake now this is a very important question according to me we should at least take ing token worth of at least 100 dollars any staking that we are doing if there is no specific criteria that has been mentioned my recommendation is you should actually stake about 100 dollars or more worth of any token that you are staking please keep in mind that this is not a financial advice i'm not a financial advisor staking is very very risky guys okay so please do your own research before you invest and make sure to stake across of multiple validators so that you can increase your airdrop gains so guys that's pretty much about this video if you like this video do make sure you subscribe to us and also join us on our telegram channel thank you so much for tuning in stay blessed stay happy take very good care of yourselves bye bye for now